Thank you, Louie. Organizations all across the country that provide disaster relief are making their way to Florida right now, organizing shelters and distributing some much needed supplies to those impacted by the storm. WXII's Joshua Davis spoke with the local Red Cross about what it's doing to help. Executive Director John Hughes says when responding to disasters like Ian, the Red Cross advantage lies in their ability to plan ahead. American Red Cross is a national organization, and so we have a very uh, well-defined network. Uh, we, we plan, we've done this for a lot of years. Even before the storm hit, the Red Cross already had boots on the ground in Florida. Uh, so we've had literally truckloads, tractor trailer truckloads of supplies moved into Florida. Uh, over the past week, uh, pre-positioned uh, cots, blankets, uh, MREs, and other supplies that would be needed. The Red Cross is operating 230 shelters across the state, with shelters supporting roughly 30,000 people and with 700 volunteers helping. A big concern is making sure everyone is safe from the worst of the storm damage. Uh, you know, we, we have to be concerned about safety of everyone. and. Uh, and safety for our people, just as well as those people who are evacuating and who are affected by the disaster. So uh, we will not uh, move into the next phase until uh, the all clear signal is given by local authorities uh, to do so. The Red Cross is also ready to help if needed in the Tar Heel State. And we've been in contact for several days now with our local county and state emergency management officials, uh, keeping in close contact. Uh, and we are preparing uh, for the possibility, if necessary, sheltering uh, and responding to needs within the state. Uh, our mission is to assist people in times of disaster. It doesn't matter where they, where they are. Uh, if they are affected by disaster, our job is to assist them and to make sure their needs are met. Director Hughes also said if people are interested in volunteering, the Red Cross is still taking volunteers, and you can sign up on the Red Cross website. In Winston-Salem, Joshua Davis, WXII 12 News.